Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Okay, so in this video, I will be showing you how you can add more storage to this device. So this device does not have a micro SD card slot. As you can see, there's no slot for the micro SD card. There's only one slot and that's for the SIM card. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can add more storage space. So this is a 512 gigabyte SanDisk micro SD card. Don't know if you can all see that. 512 gigs. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how you can actually add more storage to this device. And I'm gonna show you how you can transfer your games over to the micro SD card. Okay, so there's two requirements. There's two things you will need. You will need a USB type C connector. Okay, so if you've upgraded from a Galaxy Note 10 or a S9 Plus or a S10, you should probably have one of these in your box. Okay, so you'll need one of these. If you don't have one, you can get one from Amazon UK. They're pretty cheap. I will try a link um, where you can buy it from in the description. Okay, so you'll need one of these USB Type-C connector. And then you will need one of these. It's a micro USB 2.0 card reader. Okay, so all you do... You put the card, the, the SD card, into the card reader, just like that. And then you plug in the USB connector into the USB port. And then you just simply pop in The card just like that so as you can see it's not really that bulky and up here at the top it will say USB storage added and when I go into the settings here and battery and device care storage select these three little pins select advanced as you can see now the SB the SD card has been recognized there's 476.7 gigabytes free Okay guys, so what I can do now, I've got all these games installed. So if I go back into the settings and locate applications, where is it? Okay, apps. And I go to each one of my games, select storage. Select change, as you can see now, my USB flash drive is available as an option so I can change the storage and I can move Asphalt 9 over to the 512 gigabyte SD card, which is going to leave more storage space on the phone, on the phone's internal storage. I go to Call of Duty, I can do the same, I can just hit move and transfer Call of Duty to the 500 gigabyte SD card. Let's see if we can move Fortnite as well. 
Okay, so there's no option to move Fortnite. So it might not work with all games. Some games you will have the option to transfer it over and some games you will not have the option. Let's try Free Fire. So Free Fire, you can transfer it over. Also Genshin Impact, you can transfer that over. And Genshin Impact is a very large game. I believe it's about nine gigs, if I remember correctly. So yeah, this is definitely one that I'm gonna transfer over to my 512 gigabyte SD card. And it's the same with pictures and videos. You can just save all your data onto your 500 gigabyte SD card. And then um, to stop any corruption, do not just pull it out when you're finished, not using it. So whenever you're done using it, pull down the notifications and select unmount. Don't just pull out the USB connector with the SIM card, because you with the SD card, sorry, because you will corrupt your data. So just make sure that you pull down the notifications, select unmount, and then you can pull it out and push it back into your pocket or into your drawer, and you're good to go, guys. And it's really it's really small, as you can see. So it's not something heavy and bulky that you have to walk around with. It's really small and compact. So it's pretty much useful and handy, guys. So you can just... Plug it in whenever you're ready, and whenever you're not using it, you just unmount it and plug it out. Anyway, that's it for the video. Just thought I'd share this with you all. Even though this device does not have a micro SD card slot, you can still insert a 512 gigabyte card for all your files and games and videos. Anyway, it's your boy Android Dr. And I'm out. See you in the next one. Also, be sure to like and share this video, guys, please. Anyway, I'm out. Deuces. Oh, back again, guys, real quick. I forgot to mention as well. What you can actually do as well to save more storage space on the device, it, all your music, transfer it onto the card using your PC. Just drag and drop all your music. If, if you've got a lot of music on your phone, just transfer it onto the card using your PC. In that way, you won't have the music on your phone's internal storage. So you just put all your music onto the card using your PC. And whenever you plug it in to the phone, you can play the music from off the USB connector and the SD card. So yeah, I just thought I'd add that in there, guys. Yeah? Alright, I'm out now. Later.